Hi and welcome back to my workshop. This is Lucas, a violin maker in Cremona. In today's video, I'm here with my friend, colleague and musician Milos Seida, with whom we're going to be making the first of a series of videos where we're going to be showing you how much the sound of an instrument can improve by simply changing some of the accessories. This is something we always do with our instruments, but this time we decided to film it so you can be part of the experience as well. A couple of things to keep in mind before we get into it. First of all is that the strings that the instrument has at the moment are not the definitive ones, and I don't really think that they are the perfect match for this instrument, but they have been played for a while, maybe a couple of weeks, so I can be quite sure that they are not going to be changing much uh, while we do this. Another thing is that the microphones we are using are quite good, but they are still microphones. So the sound you will hear in this video is a bit different than the sound from the sound you will hear directly from the instrument. And maybe the acoustics of the room are not the ideal ones either. Finally, and maybe the most important thing of them all, is that the conclusions and sound differences that you will be able to hear on this video are very subjective and probably only apply for this instrument. So in today's video, we are going to start by changing the end pins.
Before we move on, I would like to take a very quick second to thank Dodot for sending me one of the red pins to try today.
So what's your opinion after trying all these different endings? As a musician, hearing the instrument attached to me for this particular cello, I would consider the carbon fiber ones. I think that it gives, they give a richness of sound and openness, and also a sensation of intense vibration. But this not always translates as power, for that you will have to try it in a bigger room as a, as a theater. I would have to agree that both uh, carbon fiber and pins suit really well with this cello. However, I would also keep in mind the Durod and the Mitsuke and pins, as I get the feeling, having heard the instrument over distance, that they add a certain type of richness or complexity to the sound, which is really nice. However, it's also important to remember that they are slightly heavier and the Mitsuke one is much more expensive. As always, if you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button.